Welcome back to another YouTube video. You guys are wondering why I have the same shirt. I'm just recording back to back the videos. <laughs> so, do not worry. But now we bring you another Bleasy uh, matchup here Bleasy versus Suicune. Uh, and now another Suicune. So, let's see how this Suicune, this Bleasy performs uh, against this Suicune list. If we can lose to it or what the hell is going to happen here so let's go ahead without further ado start this matchup the, uh, this one this one indeed it is pretty amazing and you guys will see in a few so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the matchup and there it is Victor starts with ditto bad stars indeed <laughs> but there it is um, let's see how what we got here um, we have the Bleasy Weekend attach to capture energy, uh, not necessarily uh, to search another Bleasy. We can just stay with this two that we have here. Um, if our opponent has a way to, which I don't think he will have a way to knock us out, but you know, uh, that Ditto into the active is not good because we need to find a way to get rid of it. And I didn't want to like pass with it. I mean, we could have. Our opponent is not guaranteed to knock that ditto out, so we should have hold the hand, and then on the next turn, see if we can find a way. Uh, we can survive, of course. Research, switch it up, heal the damage, and you know, do all that weird shenanigan. But my opponent here setting up, starting with Sabo, having another Suicune eat the bench, attaching the capture energy, quick ball in the water, getting himself another Suicune, and let's see if he benches another Sabo. He has Melanie there, so that's pretty good. That will allow him to draw three more cards, and oof, another Cape of Toughness into that uh, Suicune. So that's it, those Suicunes are ready to go. And there it is, he got low tat. Um, yeah, right, Lomb Lombre or low tide? I don't know, that little dude, that is a pesky problem, very, very bad indeed, um, my opponent does not have a way to switch though, so I think that will be a pass from my opponent, now let's see what we do, uh, we top deck a, oof, a path of the peak, but it's bad because, <laughs> We can't do nothing. Uh, we should have not benched it. Like uh, misplay number nine thousand. <laughs> now we can attach. We can attach into the ditto, and then hopefully for next turn, it can get out of that uh, stuck into the act. You know. So we're gonna do capture. We're gonna go ahead and fail it. Now we're gonna. Search for another Bleasy because all we have is Bleasy and Dunsper. We do not need Dunsper in these matchups. So, nah, we don't want to bench something that he can just quick shoot and take it at one easy prices. So, now there it is. Discarding two suspicious tens and drawing seven new cards. And we got ourselves the Cape of Toughness attached it into that Bleasy here. We're just going to pass. We're, we're, we're going for the slow play here. Let's see what my opponent has in store. I don't think he has another mm, Melanie. Ooh, will he do... Call for family. He's going for the Melanie, so that's pretty good. Melanie, uh, I mean, that's good for him, bad for us because, you know. Let's see what we draw here. Uh, I think we draw a Senior's Resolve from those four cards, so we're not going to be that much in a pickle because we can just easily, if, if we draw another energy, we can just easily use the Senior's Resolve discard to attach and then we can hopefully we can get that dado out of the active spot and there is we we top deck a uh, yeah so that's the senior's result so yeah that's pretty good but now 
now we need to see if we actually play it or if we don't because we have resources in hand that we do not want to discard. So let's see here. He, uh, we will be doing only 40, 40 damage into that Sobble. So we're just thinking here, what the hell do I do? Either we hold a hand or we see this result. So we're just going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new cars. You know. And there it goes. Hammer number two. Whoop. We missed that one. Let's see here. And we got rid of that water energy. So now. Uh, but my opponent has a Melanie. But the thing is. Whether he uses it into the Suicune or into the active. So we're just going to go ahead and attack for 40 and take two more cards out of the discard pile and attach it to into, the act into the active Blissey uh, and now we have 369 100 damage that we're going to be doing into our opponent and there it is uh, Melanie drawing three new cards and there it is so he has the drizzle so that's pretty good evolution instance and the drizzle so he can just evolve one in the bench or evolve one into the the active one uh... search himself for a uh... scoop up net pick it back up promote the suicune and slap us for a hundred and forty damage so let's hear if if he actually does it well i I would have gone for the for the active one, attached into the active, and then evolve the active, scoop it up, because right there we would have been able to evolve it, and then play another drizzle, search for something else, and then you know, you know the the, the setup. What 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 every single Intellion, uh, shady dealings deck does. Prepare for the. Prepare for the turn and prepare for to take a dub. And prepare for like future stuff. But there it is, Capacious Bookeat. Getting himself ready for next turn. So there it is. He already has two energies. He oof, he has a lot of energies. <laughs> a lot of energies indeed into uh, in his hand. And there it is. Uh, sc uh, scoop up not shuffling because I think he's going back in if I'm not mistaken or not maybe oh he has rare candy will he go for the for the lumber uh, low tat or ludicolo yeah he's going for the ludicolo rare candy shenanigans so he will be doing 240 damage ay, ay, ay. <laughs> 240 damage but remember we discarded a lot of healing cards so that is pretty bad now do we have in hand healing cards we will uh, are we going to be able to just you know do our thing and heal like a maniac and there it is my opponent slaps me in the face uh, for 240 and we draw two cards because we have a lucky energy attached into the active um, do we have us we have a suspicious 10 there so we can heal 80 out of those 240 damage but the thing is do we have a lot ooh, ooh, ooh. 120 heal damage I'm gonna get rid of those two uh, energies and heal 120 that will bring me to 120 of course and now we had the suspicious t foot tin to heal 80 out of those 120 damage so that will be good Oof. so we we managed to heal uh, half of that I mean not half but we, we managed to lower it as much as like as much as we could and we're just gonna go for the um, the attack here for 40 damage only uh, yeah only 40 damage which it doesn't seem much but the thing is can we keep up healing the 120 damage that's that's what we need to think here because we have I saw that we have in hand uh, two hyper potions so if he attacks for 140 um, we can heal 120 
and then you know keep ourselves in the game and poke for another probably 70 damage more if we're lucky but by the looks of it I don't think that Blissey have more choice I think that we have to wait I don't think my opponent also plays any stadiums yeah he does not have no stadiums so that's pretty bad on our side because that Ditto is just a dead car right there so uh, free two prices and if I'm not mistaken my opponent can do 140 150 160 if if he had another Drissile uh, evolve another Sabo evolve into Drizal, then he would have be able to um, get to uh, what you might call it two quick shooting Italian boss the Ditto take a knockout in the Ditto or just quick shoot so we can he so he can get rid of that um, low HP Pokemon there that does not have nothing to be honest does not have nothing. So there it is, Rare Candy and Melanie. So he's not going to go for the quick shooting uh, route. He's just going to use those, um, uh, use the uh, Shady Dealings Italian to get more resources to set up for future turns. Um, but let's see how. He's going to go for the scoop up net, picking up that Inteleon. So that's pretty good. Quick ball, the capture energy to get another low tat. So that way he can do a lot of more damage. And like I said, at this point, I don't think it is good to keep healing that Blissey on our end. I think we should let it die and set up and find ourselves another Bleasy to set up as an attacker because we should save our healing stuff and I think we already have uh, we have gotten rid of of our stuff and he just asked me here if he used a supporter uh, at this point he hasn't to be honest he has been using the shady dealings to search stuff so no Melanie whatsoever But will he play the Melanie? So he's going for... Ooh, he's going for the boss's orders! Taking a knockout into the Ditto. So that's pretty good for us. Because we're going to be surviving. Uh, uh, one more turn. My opponent is going to be doing 240 damage here. Thanks to the ability of, of Ludicolo. And uh, and we have another lucky energy in hand, and no, no, that's a knockout, dude. That's 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 a knockout. Oh wait, he did it not. My bad. He's not gonna take a knockout. That loaded color was last turn. Whoops. <laughs> I just got a little ahead of myself. I thought, <laughs> I thought he had it. To be honest, I thought. <laughs> um, but right now, we have 140 damage. Uh, we're gonna get rid of those energies. Heal up fully, completely, so that way he does not knock us out. Attaching a lucky energy and researching that hand. Three. Let's see what. We discarded another healing uh, shenanigan there, so that's pretty bad. Uh, I think that our problem here, we're going to run out of gas eventually due to the fact that we have gotten rid of, of the majority of our healing stuff, to be honest. We should have saved and conserved our ammunitions. <laughs> but we're just gonna pass because we can't do nothing and my opponent uh, we have 140, 150, 160 he will have to evolve 
both uh, Drizzles into quick shooting so that way he can get rid of the ditto and slap us with 120 with the Suicum if he has that play but at the moment I don't think he has it um, Let's see here. There it is. Shady dealings to to get what exactly? Oof! To get a Melanie so he can draw more cards. Nice. Hmm. But he's debating. Oh, he can grab two. Oh my. Shady thing. He's debating between the Melanie boss. And he's gonna grab Melody and Boss. Alright. Alright, so. He can use Boss, but I don't think he will. He's gonna go better for the. I mean, that's not actually better play. Going for the Melanie. Try to see if he can get that quick shooting. And there it is! Busted! He has the freaking melon, the quick shooting, and the Ludicolo into hand into his hand. If he has rare candy, which I think he doesn't, uh, but all he needs is a uh, rare candy. Oh, he has rare candy. He has rare candy for next turn. So next turn he will be slapping two hundred and twenty, two hundred and twenty damage. Um. So now we need to find ourselves a cape of toughness. We have a cape of toughness, so he can knock us now. Because he does 220, 230, 240, 250, 260. So he, I don't have, I don't see him uh, d doing a lot of damage here. I mean, right now he has 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. That is still not 280. That is that will still leave us with 20 HP left and we're doing 369 100 100 damage and like I said he need he didn't need uh, he, he I mean, but setting up another quick shooting Talion is quite tricky, to be honest. Because he will have to find himself another scoop up net so he can get uh get that shady dealings once out, and then he can do a lot of more damage. But like I said, we already discarded a lot of the like, healing cards that I don't think it's not so far. It's not looking good for us, to be honest. Not looking good. Due to the fact that we have discarded a ton of our healing stuff, and whew, and this, th th if he attacks, in my opinion, if he attacks, he would not knock us out. So we will have an extra turn. We will take a knockout then into that Suicun, and then going on his turn, he will take a knockout into the Bleasy, and then that will put him to two prices. And I will go to four, and then we just have to freaking figure out if I have more healing stuff. Yeah, because right now he's he's thinking the math. And also, I haven't seen my opponent play a tool scraper. If he find himself a tool scraper, that will also put us in a bit of a pickle.
quick shooting going into the bench. This is quite interesting. He's going for the boss's orders down there. And he's going to hit us for 140. So now what would, what are we looking for here? Uh senior's result probably. Oof. A handful of energies. Oof, that's pretty, pretty not good. And and also, that was a good play from my opponent because if he would have attacked into that Blissey, we would have been drawing two extra cards. And what do we have here? What do we have here? We're just gonna go for forty damage into that guy. Ooh, but like I said, he has another quick shooting there, but he cannot play it. And oof, 140 more. That would take a knockout without Blixie. We need to find ourselves a freaking lucky ice pop chicken nugget. So, <laughs> so we can heal ourselves that 20, and then we can stabilize a little bit there. But yeah, uh, all my opponent needs to do here is just go for it. Go for the kill. And we got ourselves a promo shady dealing with the Pokemon staff uh, stamp in it. So that will be my second one. The store owner was kind enough to give us that. But my opponent going here for the retreat. Retreating that Suicune. Ooh, I think that was not a good idea. I think he should have attacked us. I mean, in his defense is... It prevents us from taking prices, but at the same time, it is getting rid of his energies. I think he needs to conserve those energies. Quick shooting into the bench, Blissey, and going for the knockout here, Blizzard Rondo. I think he, he will go. Yeah. Blizzard Rondo for the knockout, taking two more prices, and I haven't have not taken a single price out of... Uh, this game and we top deck a Pokemon uh, a Poke Gear. Let's see if we can find ourselves a supporter here and get out of this mess. Ah oh, and we did we found Senior's Resolve which is pretty good. Senior's Resolve that deck looking pretty thin and full of energies. Hopefully we can draw a bunch of them uh with this Senior's Resolve and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that uh I think that's Ditto or Bleasy. No that's a Bleasy. Ditto is already gone. Uh, that's uh, discarding a stadium and a Blissey, drawing six new cars. And look at that. We got Lucky Ice Popper. Let's go in for the Crushing Hammer here. Getting rid of the energy into the bench. We're not going to target the, the one in the active. And we're going to go f heal those 40 damage. And saving that lucky ice pop for later and attaching a powerful energy into the active and then we're gonna use three six three six nine one twenty one thirty one forty one fifty one sixty one seventy one eighty damage uh to our opponent and attaching two more energy cards from the discard pile. So we're doing one eighty 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240. So next turn we will be doing 240 damage. Hmm. Uh, 
to see where the quick shooting goes because right now my opponent is not doing a lot of that a lot of damage um he's doing i think he evolved the low tad into the lumbre for next turn he's saving those those extra 100 damage for the correct uh a moment and so my opponent is going to attack us for 120 and then we have two lucky energies, so we draw two extra cards plus one more. Now, 140 damage. Can we manage to heal ourselves? And then we heal from those 140, we heal 120. We heal 20, sorry, leaving us to 120. Let's see if we can get it back. Wah, we don't get it. <laughs> lucky ice pop number two. Let's see if we get that one. Oh, one heads. Let's get it. Second head. Oh, my lord. Three heads in a row. Busted. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, healing 20 more damage. And oh, four heads in a row. Let's get it. And on. <laughs> And another head! And another one! Let's go! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so we managed to heal ourselves with freaking lucky eyes pop. 140 damage, heal, and we're gonna take the damage here. Uh, whew, that's pretty good. Uh, Alright, so. <laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> oh my god, that was so epic! All right, so we did, if I'm not mistaken, we did three, six, nine, one twenty, one thirty, one forty, one fifty, one sixty, one eighty, one ninety, two hundred. Yeah, we said we were doing two forty plus twenty. More. Yeah, that's a, that's a knockout on that uh, little suicune there. That's enough for the knockout. Now let's see here. Now my opponent has that uh, uh, Ludicolo, so he will be able to do 220 damage. Now the thing is, can we heal 220 damage back to back? Well, 220, 240. He can do up to 240 if he decides to evolve. Uh, 240 due to the quick shooting just in case and he has no energies there in hand all the energies are in his discard pile hopefully he can draw something for next turn to keep himself in the game and there it is 200 plus damage so now my opponent is doing 220 plus 20 from the quick shooting. That will be 240. Yeah. Right? Two, I think. I think he forgot to quick shoot. Probably. Still, we're doing 220. So, yeah, I think he forgot to quick shoot on this one. So, there it is. Lucky Ice Pop. Let's see if we can get it back into our hand. And we do. Oh, my goodness. Now we healed. Oh, and that will be it for our lucky. Um, we got. We don't have no more luckiness. But we're going to be able to heal 80 damage from that suspicious 10. 6, uh, 80 damage, bringing us down to to 100 damage. Now, are we going to play the Lucky Ice Pop? Yes, we will. Now we have 80 damage left. Can we put that Lucky back into the hand? And yes, we can! Put it back into our hand, slap it down, heal 20 more, 
and that will be it. No more luck for us. Out of 220 damage, we heal it all, leaving ourselves with 60 HP, uh, 60 damage left. So my opponent has to do a lot of a lot of more uh, work here, because we can attack, knock it out. But the thing is, can he knock us out? Oof, we're gonna get rid of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we only have one card in the deck. That is trouble for us because if our opponent finds a way to freaking uh, attack us, even if he doesn't knock us out, we will be able, we need to draw cards due to the fact that we have that freaking lucky energy. In in the active spot, so that's pretty bad. So my opponent, if he has energy, uh, again he wins. If he doesn't, then well, let's let's see let's see if we are lucky enough. We were lucky enough to play those lucky ice pop lollipop chicken nuggets. Now let's see if we are lucky enough to survive. And I think we are. I think we are lucky but my opponent can use research and get rid of his hand and draw seven new cards with this seven new cards he probably can get an energy if he gets an energy my opponent wins uh, this round and now I'm looking here I'm telling my my, my other the other player next to me this guy has game <laughs> if he has the knockout he has game and we were about to scoop up here, but gladly we didn't. And because if we if we would have scoop up here and concede, my opponent would have have a free win without having the win in his hand. Yet, of course, he has a research. He hasn't played it yet, so we need to see if he plays it and what he draws. Because with that research, he can have another energy. Um, and he does not have Raihan in his hand to attach like basically that energy so let's see what he does here this is pretty intense didn't I was so focused on freaking just healing drawing cards that I didn't notice that I only had seven cards in the deck so One, two, three, four, five. Oof. I don't think my opponent has energies in the deck. All his energies are in his discard pile. For the looks of it. So I think we have a chance to win this game. Because like I said, all he needs is one. One energy. Attach, attack, win. No matter if he knocks us out. It doesn't matter if he does he will be able to take the knockout here because our lucky energies it says even if your Pokemon is not knocked out draw a card that's not good <laughs> but we managed to get the game get the dub here uh, my opponent concedes he does not have an extra energies to um, to draw more cards hopefully and, and that's pretty good for us um, Due to the fact that my opponent, you know, we, we would have lost here. Uh, let's see. Oh, my camera. Log out again. Let's see if we can come, come back out of it. Now. Okay. We're back. So, one of the things that you have to be careful is with the freaking lucky energies. The lucky energies will uh, draw you more cards. But if you're not being, if you're not paying attention to your disc, to your deck, you, it, it could happen the same thing as I did. I didn't notice that I have only seven cards in deck, and I should have just hold it, not play it. Senior's draw me seven. If he would have had the energy there, that would have been a huge misplay from my part. Um, that was a close game, but as you can see, we managed to defeat a second Suicune of the turn. This local tournament here, uh, getting the dub out of it. Uh, as you can see, Bleasy has not only uh, defeated two of the best deck because Suicune it is an excellent and annoying deck. Two of them and a Rapid Striker Shifu. Let's see 
uh, what we go up against the last round here and like I always tell you guys if you enjoy the video <laughs> leave a like subscribe and uh, do all that crazy stuff that you guys do and uh, hopefully for next game we're gonna be lucky do uh, and and <laughs> I don't know about you guys but flipping those coins and rolling those dice for lucky eyes pop to put it back into my hand was very satisfying being able to heal 140 damage out of your opponent's attack exquisite and you're gonna like they're gonna be pretty mad but <laughs> it's, it's pretty satisfying when you do it but when they do it up against you it's pretty bad so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did because I loved playing this deck it is very good and I'll see you guys on the fourth round of these local tournaments here that we went to uh, so peace out guys have a good day